So we had the Lunara Connect 2014. And uh, who are you? Uh, I'm uh, Xu Wei from High Silicon. So what do you do? Uh, I'm the D zero one window of High Silicon. So uh, everything about D zero one you can first connect with me. So are you product manager D zero one? You can see. So. Yeah. Sure. So what is D zero one? D zero one is uh, is a server board. It has sixteen cores. Uh, and the core is about A15, and, uh, he had, and it has 16 um, GB memory, and the seri uh, it has three, uh, G, uh, two GE ports, one FE port, and the three SATA port. Yes. That's so all. it has a crazy interconnect. Uh, how does it work? The uh, is it L2, L3? Some, what is? It? How does it work? Okay, uh, it has a L level three cache memory. Uh, and it also has a level one and a level two, and uh, but now the uh, level three is uh, still in working. Later we will release a new version about it. And uh, how does it work? The interconnect. What's inside here? Um, is there some crazy fast to uh, yeah. How do you connect sixteen cores? Uh, <laughs> how does that work? You, uh, do you know how it works? I'm a software guy. Software guy. <laughs> what, what are you doing right here? Um, so what we're basically doing now is we're bootstrapping a uh, GCC toolchain build native. It's still checking out all the sources from our Git repository, but when it's done, it'll build it into a full regression test run, and we'll see how it works. So uh, what does that mean? Is it the first time you do this on this board right now, or? Yeah. So I'm sure these guys have probably already done it, but this is the first time I have. You've done it already? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but what's going on here? What is, what's going on? Uh, we want uh, tra tracking, a tool chain group can work with the Diesel One board. Like the tool chain group? Yeah, so we're going to be putting some of these in our build form for the tool chain working group so that we can use this for a lot of our development and stuff because it's obviously going to be the, the faster hardware than a lot of the stuff we've been working on. We have a lot of problems where a lot of our hardware mm -hmm. is limited memory, limited I.O., building on SD cards which last about three weeks and all that. So this should be a good, hopefully stable, fast platform for development because the faster we develop, the faster we fix things. <laughs> so is it going to be in the lava? Um, there's already some in lava right now. Yeah. One of these will be opened up um, outside of lava for specific tool chain development. Like if somebody has to track down a bug, we can log into the board directly and just work the way we're used to as any other platform. So how much have you been able to work with this so far? Uh, this is the first. First time you see it? This is the first time I've even seen it. Later, I, we will send more board to tool chain work group. Yeah. yeah. So uh, th actually, that's the first time we show this uh, board in the public. First so, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two months ago, uh, Huawei delivered this board to Linaro landing team. So landing team uh, tried to bring up this board with the latest kernel. Right now it's in version 3.13. It will soon be 3.14 in this month. So uh, after this event, the board will be totally uh, be public. Uh, everything, source code, the hardware spec, will be published in through, through Linaro uh, website. So. Uh, actually, a lot of working groups inside the Linaro, they are interested in the, to use this board. Torchin working group is the first one we, we found. We have co-work. Yeah, also, the virtualization working group, and they all have good ideas to use this board to do some fantastic things. Yeah. So what do you think about the 16-core Cortex-A15? What do you think about this, this, this device? Um, it should definitely speed up doing builds. Because <laughs> sometimes when I do builds, it runs for several days. Several but, days. Um, sometimes a week and a half. So it'll be nice to have something with a faster turnaround time because if we're tracing down a bug or trying to do some kind of new feature and stuff, um, that cycle time can kill you if it takes a long time. So, so if you're doing a week and a half, that means it would take forever to make something that works or what? Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one, one of the fun thing of this is it has three SATA disks. So uh, technically they can launch Three different protein build drop or F drop on with which of the SATA disk. So it has, we uh, should expect high IO performance here. Yeah. So we'll actually be able to use it for our con new continuous build and integration system as well as regular development. Um, we'll beat on it really hard. I'll probably keep that fan spinning a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
head and a noise and a lower. <laughs> lower noise in the next one? So, uh, what, so what, what, what do you call this? Is this like an early sample? What is that? Um, it has been used in high silicon. So it's not the first board of, uh, about this chip. But the, the mass production is later, right? Uh, I think you can think so. Yeah. And uh, so this is for what kind of product? Is for a server or is it a base station? What, is, what can it be? A server. Server? Yes. And it's a not data center. Data center? Yes. So this is, uh, this is uh, like uh, to run uh, Google or Baidu or something? Yes. Yeah? This is a cloud. Cloud. Yeah, cloud. Exactly. Yeah, and that's where I think the multi-core and the fact that it has SATA drive support and stuff will make it pretty good for that kind of uh, putting it into the data center. A lot less power, less air conditioning, save money on your electric bill. <laughs> so what are you doing right now is uh, saving the world a little bit, like uh, global warming. Um, you can say that, but I don't know if I... <laughs> yeah. All right. So it also has a high-speed gigabit Ethernet. Yeah. This is a fast Ethernet. These two uh, gigabit Ethernet. Two? Yeah, two gigabit Ethernet core. So as you said, it makes... Yes, uh, it's basically all the cloud stuff depends on fast networking. <laughs> nice. So the, nice. the processing is about sending the data, kind of. Not really, like, rendering stuff or... Well, yeah, you have to basically pull the bits off the hard drive and send them out over the network connection, but there's often some kind of processing and stuff that's going on as well. And that's the nice thing about the multi-core architecture, hopefully. Well, and you don't need to do both. You don't need x86 to do that? Um, probably not. <laughs> it's just what people have been using. Yeah. So, so <laughs> how do you design this, something like this? How does it work? Um, what can you say? <laughs> Hard question. Hard question? Yeah, there's a teamwork actually. Yes. Yeah. You know, we are not hardware people. We have, <laughs> <laughs> we have very strong hardware team in Huawei. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Their team know. designed this board, manufactured it. Yeah. Like uh, for a while now, High Silicon making ARM processor for a long time. Right, of course. Yeah. 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 yeah, everybody now in the world can see a Huawei handset, right? Do you have one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool.